Hello students my name is Alok Semwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about antimalarials In this lecture I will discuss introduction disease etiology and classification of antimalarials So malaria is a widespread disease which is caused by plasmodium parasite and transmitted in human beings by Anopheles mosquito especially female one According to various studies malaria is a very complex disease to treat and that is why it causes millions of infections each year with several million death annually Quinine was the first drug which became very popular for the treatment of malaria and that is why it was used as a prototype molecule for the generation of first generation synthetic molecules malaria symptoms in the early stages malaria symptoms are sometimes similar to those of many other infections caused by bacteria viruses or parasites it can start with flu like symptoms after that fever chills in the whole body headache excessive sweats and fatigue is commonly seen in most of the cases Symptoms also include nausea and vomiting and body aches. Disease etiology. Malaria is caused by four species of the one cell protozoan of the Plasmodium. Plasmodium, a genus of parasitic protozoans of the sporozoan that are the causative organisms of malaria. Plasmodium infects red blood cells in mammals including humans. birds and reptiles and occur worldwide especially in tropical and high temperature zones four species of the one cell protozoan of the plasmodium are plasmodium falciparum plasmodium vivax plasmodium malari and plasmodium ovale first is plasmodium falciparum According to few studies this species is estimated to cause approximately 50% of all malaria. It causes the most severe form of the disease and because patients feel ill between acute attacks that's why it is the debilitating form of the disease. It leaves the patient very weak because it causes severe infections and infects up to 65% of the patient's erythrocytes. Next is Plasmodium vivax. It is the second most common species which is reason of about 40% of all malaria cases. It can be very chronic in recurrence because it can reinfect liver cells. Next is Plasmodium malari. Although it causes only 10% of all malaria cases, deterioration in the health condition are very common after a period of improvement last one is plasmodium ovale this species is least common one more species plasmodium nolesi is found throughout southeast asia and is the most common cause of human malaria in malaysia falciparum malaria is potentially life threatening infections with plasmodium vivax and plasmodium ovale are occasionally severe but the parasites can remain dormant in the liver for many months causing a reappearance of symptoms months or even years later antimalarial drugs antimalarial drugs are used for the treatment and prevention of malaria infection drug target include erythrocytic stages of malaria infection which is the phase of infection that causes symptomatic illness but the extent of preerythrocytic activity of most antimalarial drugs is not well characterized yet next is classification of antimalarial drugs antimalarial drugs are divided into several categories according to their structural features categories include synchronal alkaloids 
फोर अमीनोक्यूनोलिन्स एट अमीनोक्यूनोलिन्स पॉलीसाइक्लिक्स अर्टिमिसन इन फैमिली डाईहाइड्रोट्रायोजीन्स एंड फ्यू फिक्सड कॉम्बिनेशन्स फर्स्ट कैटेगरी इज ऑफ सिंकोना एल्कोलॉइड्स सिंकोना एल्कोलॉइड्स क्विनीन क्विनीडीन सिंकोनाडीन एंड सिंकोनीन आर द मेजर मेम्बर्स विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ यूनिक क्लास ऑफ क्यूनोलिन एल्कोलॉइड्स सेकेंड कैटेगरी इंक्लूड्स फोर अमीनो सब्सटूटेड क्यूनोलिन रिंग दैट्स वाई दे आर नेम्ड एज फोर अमीनो क्यूनोलिन मेजर ड्रग कैंडिडेट्स इन दिस कैटेगरी आर क्लोरोक्वीन हाइड्रॉक्सी क्लोरोक्वीन अमिडोक्वीन एंड मैफ्लोक्वीन थर्ड कैटेगरी इंक्लूड्स एट अमीनो क्यूनोलिन्स In the drugs belonging to this category, amino group is substituted at the eighth position of the quinoline ring system. Major drug candidates in this category are primaquine and pemaquine. Fourth category is of polycyclics. Polycyclics contain more than one cyclic component, especially having two or more usually fused rings in a molecule. Drug candidate in this category are quinacrine hydrochloride and halfentrin. Fifth category is composed of artemisinin family. Artemisinin and its semi-synthetic derivatives are a group of drugs used in treatment of malaria. Drugs in this category are artemisinin, artemether and artesunate. These drugs are used in combination with other antimalarials. Next category is dihydrotriazine which include cycloguanyl pamoate. Seventh category is of fixed combinations. Combination therapy with antimalarial drugs is the simultaneous use of two or more antimalarial drugs at a time. Antimalarial combinations can increase efficacy and also cause shortening of the duration of treatment. Few fixed combinations are sulfadoxin with pyrimethamine and atovaquan with proguanil. Eighth category include vaccines. The development of an effective vaccine always remain one of the most frustrating aspects in the prevention of malaria. It is well known that plasmodium parasite evokes an immune response, but the problem seems to be identifying the antigenic component or components that cause a strong immune response. A vaccine whose brand name is Moscurex is the only one showing promise. It requires four injections and has a relatively low efficacy. In the next class, we will discuss mode of action and structure activity relationship of anti-malarial drugs. Thank you.